Good day, grade 7. I am your teacher, Marie. Good day, grade 7. Now we're going to discuss a new topic. Let us enjoy watching while learning. Rational numbers. The three dots between two rational numbers on the list indicate that there is exist other rational numbers between the two rational numbers. Also, the three dots found at the beginning and at the end indicate that there are infinitely many rational numbers before and after the given rational number. The integers negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 are rational numbers. Every rational number is the quotient of two integers. How to operate on fraction and decimal? How to add, subtract, multiply, and divide rational numbers? Activity 1. Let's try. Identify which are fractions and decimals. How did you identify if it is a sample of decimal or a fractions? Rational number. A rational number is a number that can be written in the form of a over b, where a and b are integers, and b not equal to zero. Rational number can be in form of fraction or decimal form, although written in different form, fraction and decimal may be equivalent. Consider why the following decimal number are rational. Example, 0 0.63 is rational number because it can be written as 63 over 100. Another example, negative 5.7. It is rational number because it can be written as negative 57 over 10. Fraction form to decimal form. Rational number in decimal form can be expressed as fraction as shown by the given examples. This will be the process in converting decimal form to fraction form. 0 0.35 will be multiplied by 100 over 100 because, because 35 is in the hundredth places. Then, it is equal to 35 over 100. Then, in fraction form, we're going to get the simplest form of it is equal 35 over 100 is equal to 7 over 20. 0 0.8 0 0.8 will be multiplied by 10 over 10 because 8 is in the 10th places. Then the product of it is equal to 8 over 10. Then in the simplest form, we have 8 over 10 is equal to 4 over 5. Another example, we have 0 0.2 which is 2 have a bar line. It means 2 is repeated number. Let n is equal to 0 0.2 bar. So, our first equation is n is equal to 0 0.2 bar. We're going to multiply by 10 since there is only one repeated digit. So, n is equal to 0 0.2 bar times 10. Then, we have 10n is equal to 2.2 bar. This will be the equation 2. Let us subtract the equation 1 from equation 2. So, 10n is equal to 2.2 bar minus n is equal to 0 0.2 bar. Our difference is 9n is equal to 2. Then, n is equal to 2 over 9. Our decimal number of 0 0.2 bar, which is equal to our fraction form 2 over 9. Another example, we have 0 0.33 bar. It can be written as 0 0.33. It can be written as 0 0.3333 bar. Let n is equal to 0 0.33 bar, which is our equation 1. Then we're going to multiply 100 since there are two repeated digits. So n is equal to 33 bar times 100. Then we have 100n is equal to 33.33 .33 bar. That will be the equation 2. Then we're going to subtract the equation 1 from equation 2. So 100n is equal to 33.33 .33 bar minus n is equal to 0 0.33 bar. Then the difference is 99n is equal to 33 and n is equal to 33 over 99. Therefore, the fraction form is 
1 over 3 because this will be the simplest form of the given fraction 33 over 99. Decimal form to fraction form. To express rational number in fraction form to decimal form, divide the numerator by denominator. What do you do when the rational number is not a decimal fraction? How do you convert from one form to another? Consider the following fraction which are to be changed to decimal number. Let us have an example number 1, 3 over 8. So 3 will be our dividend and 8 will be the divisor. So we're going to divide 3 divided by 8. Then the result is 0 0.337. So we have 3 over 8 is equal to the de decimal point 0 0.375,000. Then the type of decimal is non-repeating terminating. Another example, we have one-third. So, one will be our dividend, then three will be our divisor. So, one divided by three is 0 0.3 or 0 0.33 or 0 0.333 thousand. So, our decimal point is 0 0.33 bar. The bar over the digit three means the digit 3 is repeating and non-terminating. That means our type of decimal is repeating, non-terminating. Activity 2. Get the similarity. Change the following fraction to similar fraction. How did you get the similar fraction of each rational number? Operation and rational number in fraction form. All the rules which play to operation with integers hold for operation with rational number in fraction form. We're going to recall the use of number line. Any movement from the initial point going to the right is positive and any movement going to the left is negative. Addition and subtraction of rational number in fraction form. Adding or subtracting similar fraction is the same as adding or subtracting whole number that is adding the numerator and keeping the same denominator for all integers a b and c c is not equal to zero we will have a over c plus b over c is equal to a plus b over c example number one find the sum or difference of the given similar fractions two fourth plus three fourth is equal to 2 plus 3 over 4. We're going to copy the denominator. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 7. Then, copy the den denominator 4. So, we have the answer 7 over 4. Or, example number 2, find the sum or difference of the given similar fraction. 7 over 6 minus 5 over 6 is equal to 7 minus 5 over 6. Then, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 over, copy the denominator 6. Then, we have the simplest form of 2 over 6 is equal to 1 third. Addition and subtraction of rational number in fraction form. To add or subtract the similar fraction, find their LCD and change, change them to similar fractions. Then, follow the rules for adding or subtracting similar fractions. So, we have A over B plus or minus C over D is equal to AD over BD plus or minus BC over BD which is equal to AD plus or minus BC equal over BD where B and D are non-zero and BD is the LCD. Example number one, perform the indicate operation and express the answer in simplest form. So, we have 5 over 6 plus 4 over 3. So, the LCD of 6 and 3 is 6. Then, we're going to have the denominator will be, since we have 6 divided by 6 is 1 times 5, we have 5. Then, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 4, we have 8. So, we have 5 plus 8 over 6. Then, 5 plus 8 is 13 over 6. So, the simplest form of 13 over 6 is 2 and 1 6. Another example, number 2. 
perform the indicate operation and express the answer in simplest form. 2 over 3 minus 2 over 5. So the LCD of the 2 is 15. So 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 2. We have 10. Then 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times 2, we have 6. Then 10 minus 6 over 15. So 10 minus 6 is 4 over 15. So the simplest form we have is 4 over 15. Activity 3, re reciprocal me. Find the reciprocal of the given fraction. How did you get the reciprocal? Multiplication and division of rational number in fraction form. The rules that apply to multiply and divide of integer also apply in multiplying and dividing rational numbers. The following are the rules that must be remembered. First, to multiply rational number in fraction form, simply multiply the numerator by multiplying the denominator in symbols a over b times c over d is equal to ac over bd, where b and d not equal to zero. To divide rational number in fraction form, you take the reciprocal of the second fraction or our divisor and multiply it by the first fraction. So in symbol, a over b divided by c over d is equal to a over b times d over c which is equal to AD over BC, where BC and D not equal to zero. Example number one, multiply or divide the following fraction and write your answer in simplest form. 3 over 8 times 5 over 6, we have the two methods. First, just multiply the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. The second one method, we're going to use a cancellation so we're going to cancel the common factor. So first method, we have 3 over 8 times 5 over 6. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Then 8 times 6 is 48. So we have 15 over 48. Then the simplest form of this given fraction is 5 over 16. Second method, we have cancella cancellation. So we're going to cancel 3 and 6. So 3 divided by 6 is 1, then 6 is 2. So we have 1 over 8 times 5 over 2. Then 1 times 5 is equal to 5. Then 8 times 2 is equal to 16. So we have two methods in using multiplying, but we have the same answer. Another example, we have 6 and 7, 8 times 5 and 1 third. So we have the given mixed fraction. So we're going to change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. So we have 55 over 8 times 16 over 3, which is equal to 55 over 1 times 2 over 3 because we have 8 and 16, cancel 8 and 16. So we have 2. Then 55 times 2 is 110. Then 1 times 3 is 3. So 110 divided by 3 is equal to 36 and 2 thirds. Another example, we have 15 over 4 divided by 18 over 8. So first, we're going to have the reciprocal of our divisor. So 18 over 8 is equal to 8 over 18. So we have 15 over 4 divided by 18 over 8 is equal to 15 over 4 times 8 over 18. Then use cancellation. Then we have the result is 5 over 1 times 2 over 6. Then 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. So we have 10 over 6 or it is equal to 1 and 4 over 6. Then 4 over 6 have a simplest form. So the final answer we have in this given example is 1 and 2 thirds. Activity 4. Let's Perform. Perform the indicate operation. If the given activity in the form of fraction or decimal, how do you do to indicate the operations? 
operation on rational number decimal form. Decimal notation is simplified, a more convenient way in writing fraction. More convenient because it is follows our usual base 10 place value notation. Decimal are read just like fractions. Adding and subtracting rational number in decimal form. Decimal are added and subtracted just like whole number. First, align the decimal point, then add on subtract in columns, then insert the de decimal point in the answer immediately beneath the decimal point in the number being added or subtracted. Example number one, perform the indicate operations. 9.75 plus 2.882 plus 12.1. So first, we're going to align the decimal point before adding. So 9.750 plus 2.882 plus 12.100. So we have the sum of 24.732. Example number 2, we have 45.9010 minus 26.4281. So we have 45 minus 9,010 minus 26.4281. We have the difference is multiplication of rational number in decimal form. In multiplication of decimal, first multiply the number without the decimal point. Next, add the number of places in both fractions factor and put the same number of the pla places in the result. Example number one, we have, let's multiply 3.24 times 0 0.56. So 3.24 times 0 0.56, we have the total number of decimal places is four. Then we're going to count the four places from right to left. So 3.24 times 0 0.456 is equal to 1.8144. This can be all justified by writing each factor in expanded form and applying appropriate properties. Division of rational number in decimal form. The process of dividing decimal is def different from multiplying decimal. Although the process of dividing whole number is also applied, there is still a necessary step required before the division is applied. There is a need to change decimal divisor into a whole number divisor. This will be the step in dividing decimal. First, multiply both the divisor and the dividend by the same multiple of 10 to make a whole number divisor. Divide as in whole number divisor. Put the decimal point in the cushion directly above the decimal point in the dividend. Then, check by multiplying the quotients and the divisor. Example number one, find the quotients of 55.8.318 divided by 3.4. So, 3.4 is equal to 34. Then, our 55.318, it will be... 553.18 So the result is 16.27 Find the quotient of 36.4 divided by 1.6 So 1.6 is equal to 16 Then 36.4 is equal to 364 So 364 divided by 16 is equal to 22.75 Thank you! Enjoy watching while learning! This is your teacher, Miss Marimar F. Figalan.